You are listening to the Pencil and Paper Podcast Network. Well, hello there, and welcome to Super Mega Crash Brothers Turbo After Dark. (laughs) Because we are recording, and it's dark outside. It really is dark. Yeah. (laughs) This is bull. (laughs) We invented the light bulb. Can we stop this nonsense already? So just just so everyone's aware, we were planning on a regular show, but then, you know, things change, you know, because we got families and it's a holiday. Yeah, like and obligations and stuff. Yeah. To like so, blood. <laughs> so we just decided instead of just leaving you, you know, empty handed, we, we thought we'd throw together a little mini just just because, you know. Just for fun. We thought Throw it would it be out. fun. And then we'll get back yeah. to the, the other stuff later, you know, oh. because... We still got stories to tell and and yes. news to cover and all that. So I'm and, sure there'll be plenty. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, and and we'll uh we'll cover that uh over the next couple of weeks. That'll be fine. Mm-hmm. You That'll guys will fine. Love it. Y'all are probably doing family stuff now too. Yeah, perhaps. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I mean, maybe, maybe you it's were finally alone. over for you. I don't know. <laughs> I hate that we're leaving you alone on you know, Thanksgiving and all. I mean, I know this isn't coming out on Thanksgiving, but... Right. It could, but... May as well. Eh, I'm not gonna do that work. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I say this because I'm just like, I send you files and I'm like, I'm done. See you later. See ya. That's my part now. <laughs> that is fun. I actually get to do that now with Cinema Salsa. I don't have to edit that. I just send it over to Philip, and that's it. <laughs> it's nice, eh? Yeah. It's just like, I'm done. Well, look at that. Well, like, I that? can do nothing else. I mean, and, you know, I, I honestly had uh, mentioned to him early on, you know, I was like, I can edit this. And he's like, no, no I'll edit it. And I was like, okay. Deal. It's fine. And Deal. you did the kind offer. Yeah. And they said no. And you're like, okay, cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'm not, I'm not going to say no. You know, it saves me a little time and effort. Right. And And speaking of which, and... I haven't committed to it, but maybe the guys who are listening right now is uh, over at Podcasters Assemble. You know, Eric's mm-hmm. looking for some editors for some episodes. Ooh. And I told him, you know, my plate's kind of full. And otherwise, I would like leap at the trance because I had thought about it. I really mm-hmm. have. You know, I thought it would be fun to kind of put my own spin on it, but still trying to adhere to sure. their structure. But. I don't know. I just, I, it seems like a lot of work. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is. Because yeah, you, it's, have... you got a lot going on though, too. You don't want to overcommit yourself. Yeah. I don't but... want to, I don't want to promise him an episode and then just not deliver. Now, if there was like a one-off or something that could take a little extra time, mm-hmm. sure. Or you don't have a deadline necessarily in a week. Yeah. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I mean, I understand that some of those guys, you know, they, they have to delay episodes and that's fine. Mm-hmm. You know, because things happen. I get it. But I'm I'm very stringent on deadlines. So if it needs to be done at a certain time, mm-hmm. I, I'm in that mindset. And if I don't do it, I'm going to be like, God, I failed. Yep. I can't. Yep. Uh, and I'll that. hate myself for it. So I don't want to promise him anything. But I, I, I do want to at some point. I think it would be fun. I just yeah. I need to be in the right mind space and, and have nothing else going on to where I could say, yeah, I can commit to this. Mm-hmm. So we'll yeah. see. We'll, we'll see. see. Maybe we'll see in what time. Happens. Hmm. <laughs> so I want to talk about something that uh, I mentioned on the pod uh, about a week or so ago, I think it was. And I just, I want to vent. I want to vent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think Let's I got a, I got a right to vent because I shouldn't have said a damn thing because I know how this works and this is usually how it works is I said something about you know possibly working for Screen Rant mm-hmm. uh, and that just that blew up in my face uh, you know yeah because um they I mean when when you commit to someone when you're you're signing contracts and you're you're going through all that whole hullabaloo you think you're in. Sure. You know, and I feel like we should yeah. be going through any kind of training process prior to this moment before, you know, you commit to anything long term and, you know, contracts and all that. But we didn't do yeah. that. So they're signing contracts and they're putting me through this training uh, business. Mm-hmm. And the training was for lists. Now, I have probably haven't mentioned this here on this pod, but I know we've talked about it. I hate right. lists. 
Okay, anytime I see lists on any website where it's like 10 things you didn't know about this character or 10 things or 10 best characters in this movie ranked by whatever the fuck. So and so, whomever, yeah. <laughs> According to this person. Yeah, it's an opinion piece. Mm-hmm. I mean, that that's what it is. It is an opinion piece based on what I think, based on what you want me to write about. So my training was to pick a list that they had pre-made yeah, and write about that. So I'm looking through there, and I didn't see anything that I had any business writing about because I don't know (laughs) a thing about it. So I choose one that said, 10 bravest characters in the Captain America trilogy. Are you allowed to tell us what it is? I don't give a damn. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Because I'm going to get into that in a minute. Okay. Okay. Because they pissed me off. I'll get into that in a minute. But anyway, 10 bravest characters in the Captain America trilogy base mm-hmm. are ranked on bravery. Okay. Now, mm-hmm. if you know anything about superhero films, uh, it's littered with heroes. You know, especially MCU movies where there's crossover after crossover. We get to Civil War and we're talking about a lot of characters, heroes... Sure. So, bravery. Okay, sure. So, I had, to, I had to nitpick 10 characters from these movies to then rank based on how brave they were. And then I had to not only explain moments in which they were brave, but then analyze their bravery within that moment and why that makes them brave. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't quite... Again, I hate lists. I don't like them. And, and to even be asked to write a list was just like... Gosh, well, I hope okay. you didn't get yourself started off all sour just because you knew you didn't enjoy them. No, 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 no. I was you know? I was open to the idea. I was like, all right, I, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll figure this out. You know, It could have just I, been like a process just to see where you're at. What's yeah. your style? Where will you fit? You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, the initial process started with all right write your list and then submit it and then an editor will review it and kind of give you feedback based on what you got Mm -hmm. so i did that uh and they were like okay well um i want you to to give a little bit more detail kind of point out little moments where they're brave and 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 kind of you know really really give more detail and i was like okay fine yeah detail so i went hard in now there was a word limit um, sure. but I, I went over that limit because in the back of my head, I was like, no detail. Okay. You want detail? Here's detail. Boom. And I probably went like 200 words over the limit. Probably not a smart thing to do. Probably not. Yeah. But I was, I was a little like <laughs> agitated. I was like, what? Okay. Well, here's, here's detail. Here's all the detail in the world. And they said, all right, well, you did good. You gave us detail. That's great. But now we want you to really analyze the 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 de- you know the details in which you've laid out and I'm like analyze what what do you want me to do I pointed out how they were brave and you want me to explain how they're brave okay I, I, I thought I did that but apparently I didn't analyze enough so I racked my brain I was already struggling with anxiety with this which is putting me into a bad headspace which is right. giving me writer's block so I couldn't think and I I finally focused it's like the anger just kind of washed over me and it cleared my head to the point where i was like no i'm gonna do this damn it Mm -hmm. and i wrote out a piece where i wrote out a detail and i analyzed who these characters were and all that and and you know i thought i i I did what they asked Mm -hmm. so i submitted it now for clarity and i I really don't want to think that this was part of it but it could have been but still, that does not excuse what they did uh, subsequently afterwards. Mm-hmm. About the time that I submitted that third entry, I reached back out to the person who reached out to me originally about the job. And I said, hey, look, I don't really know if I have the voice for lists. It's like I don't quite understand the process behind it. It's just not something I, I really understand like I, I understand it i understand what you're telling me mm-hmm. but i don't know if i have the voice for it 
So if it would be possible, uh, if I could try my hand at maybe like news reporting or something like that, I was like, I, I think that's where I could have a better uh, shot at really succeeding because that's what we do here. You know, sure. we've done this for yeah. years. So I was like, this this seems like it'd be up my alley. I know what I'm doing. So the lady was kind and she's like, absolutely. I said, I'll, you'll still have to go through the same process like you did this. Mm-hmm. Submit like a, 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 a piece so they can approve it and so on and so forth. So if you want to do that, then we can go through that process. All right, sure. Absolutely. As a never know unless you try. Right. So she sends it. I get the email. They tell me exactly what I need to do. So in this process, they give me an article to choose from. And the article that they have already kind of pre-written has like 300 words, and I just need to add 300 more to it. And then oh, there are two. Yeah. And then okay. there are two questionnaire or two questionnaires following that. I guess to see what I really know, if I can pitch an article or if maybe I'm into pop culture, how how deeply ingrained I am. I do all that. Yeah. And within a day's time, uh, you're we, we can't give you any reasons why, but we're going to pass. Okay. Mm. So that was like a, a kick in the balls, you know. Yeah. I was like, so you can't tell me why, but you're going to say no, which sounds like every other no I've gotten. We're not going to tell you why, but we're just going to say no. And I thought I'd put a lot of personality into it. Mm-hmm. Thought I'd put a lot of detail into it to make sure that they could see who I was and that I could speak to the audience in which they're trying to target. Mm-hmm. It didn't pan out. Furthermore, the third entry that I put into the the list writing was declined as well as all the subsequent two but I never got any feedback on it never on told the last me last one yeah it never told me what was wrong with it in fact I'll even kind of criticize the editor here she never gave me like a target like if if there was one entry out of my 10 because there were 10 mm-hmm. that came close that would have helped me to understand. It's like, hey, the, entry number seven, that's that's good. Like, th- do more of that. Like, you've, you've kind of nailed it here. But the rest of them, you know, work on them a little bit. Try to, try to make them closer to that. Mm-hmm. That would have given me some kind of indication as to how close I was. Like, what was I trying to target or what was I not understanding? Right. So I could try to work on that and fix it. But no, I got declined and then silence. Now, the lady who I had reached out to prior, she sent me an email just like she did last time. Said, hey, if I don't, you don't hear from me in four days, um, feel free to reach out. So I mm-hmm. figured, okay, she'll reach out to me at some point. Mm-hmm. This has only been day number three now, mind you, at this point. I haven't heard back from her. And I wasn't going to push beyond the day four. Play, at least wait till after the holidays. Yeah, yeah there's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. But uh, today... I just, I was completely wiped of all their servers and everything without so much as a, you know, hey, you, you didn't quite make it. We, we really thought this was going to be great. Some some sort of indication that it was going to happen. That you were done. Yeah. yeah. But no, everything that I was ever, that I signed up for, every thing that I, I, I downloaded for this place, they just cut me off. Like, blink of an eye, cut me off. And that, that was cold. Yeah, that was that unprofessional, really rough. you know. I mean that that's that's my, my that's why I'm kind of bitter about it right now. That's unprofessional, in my opinion. If you're gonna tell somebody, hey, you we're not think gonna you at least reach out and right. at least let you know whether you want to give an explanation, a long breakdown, just being like, hey, we're moving you out. Thank you for your time. Yeah, but to yeah. go through that entire process just to be booted out without a, so much as an explanation. That was, I mean... Yeah, that's hard. How do you know what's going on? That exactly. Sucks. You know? And it would have yeah. been nice to have a little bit of feedback on that last article, you know, as to why it was declined, because the other two, they got declined. I, I thought I did what she asked. I looked over their own lists. Yeah. And tried to not copy, but 
replicate what they were doing, yeah, like, like trying get to understand the idea of what they were wanting. Yeah. Yeah, try to understand the the structure of it all, and I guess that's where I'm I'm getting at with my frustration here is, you know, it, it hit me bad yesterday. I know I was talking to you about it. It was like I'm I'm just done. I'm just so done with this, chasing yeah. this dream, chasing everything about it. And after they did this shit today, uh, I kind of got a moment of clarity, and it was like, who are they to sit there and make me quit this? They aren't yeah. the end all be all. Fuck them. Yeah. And I'll say it again. Fuck Screen Rant. I don't give a shit because that <laughs> was cold and unprofessional. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if I can't write what I want to write in my voice, I don't need their fucking site. I don't need it because I would hope that the things that I'm reading on any website is going to be in the voice of the person writing it. Sure. Sure. You know, when Especially you wrote... when it's something like that, it feels very open to your own interpretation. Exactly. You know? Like like the, the, the article that you wrote for Geek to Geek Media, the, the review for, what was the game again? I'm sorry. Blood Shore. <laughs> Blood Shore. <laughs> My one and only. But you wrote it. Review. <laughs> yes, and, that, and that was your voice. That was mm-hmm. your voice. That was you. I mean, granted, we did some editing. Like I helped you kind of edit a little bit. Just to, to, to kinda, yeah, so I could English write. Yeah, refine it yeah. a little bit. <laughs> But it was still within your voice. Mm-hmm. You know, we weren't trying to alter how it was. Like, I didn't want to change it to where it sounded like me. It needed to be you. Right. It just needed to be Yeah, know, I just wanted to know, like, streamlined. does this make sense? Because yeah. sometimes I just tend to write how I talk. And I'm like, well, that doesn't read well. So I got to. <laughs> but, the, but there still Pull needs back. to be. Yeah, but there still needs to be yeah. your voice in it. And that's sure. what makes it unique. So when people see your name, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, that guy. You know, mm-hmm. that, that person, they wrote that. I love their stuff. And then they'll come back. True. Like, e- yeah, even, I could see that. You know, and, sure. and going to, um, there's a website that I like to to uh, frequent every so or like every week or every day just about is uh, joeblow.com. And they do movie reviews and TV reviews and news and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And anytime they do a review, I always look at the reviewer's name. Because if it's somebody that I've disagreed with in the past, mm-hmm. then there's a good chance that whatever he movie he's talking about, I may not share the same opinion. But if it's someone sure. that I've, I've looked at their opinion and I'm like, oh, yeah, we see eye to eye. So if he's mm-hmm. loving this movie or he's disliking this movie, I'll probably agree. Oh, yeah. I have and, game reviewers that way, too, that, that seems to enjoy their genre. So if they like it, I'm like, hey, all right, cool. We yeah. seem to like the same kind of games. Yeah. So for me, that's a, that's a plus. You know, that's mm-hmm. a, someone you can rely on. And I even kind of said something similar to that on Twitter today because um, I think there was somebody, I think it was GameSpot. And I, I probably uh, tweeted this through the Super Mega Crash <laughs> uh, Twitter account, but... GameSpot had done something about uh, Hawkeye, the the new Marvel series on Disney Plus, and they oh, were yeah. pretty much tearing it down. And but what oh. was interesting about it is I was sitting there reading all the bullet points, like the pros and cons, mm-hmm. and the reviews that I had read the day prior were exactly the opposite of everything this guy was complaining yeah, about. See? Mm-hmm. You know, this guy was sitting there saying, Jeremy Winter's wooden and, and there's no chemistry between him and uh, Haley Steinfeld. And I'm sitting there going, really? Because this article I read yesterday from the guy that I like, he's yeah. like, he's like, oh, dude, they're, you know, he's, he's actually getting a chance to really go for it and be, be, you know, charismatic. And, and, mm-hmm. you know, they have a great dynamic and, it was just, it was odd to me. I was like, how are you getting this? And they got that. I, t- I mean, reviews are just weird that way because you're just 100% going off of the perspective of the person who wrote it, right? So it's like mm-hmm. all of us can watch a lot of the same thing. I mean, shoot, it's been very evident these days. We all can watch one thing. Go read a Twitter comment. Yeah. And, and you're like, whoa, how did we all watch the same thing? And we have all of these different opinions on what it meant. What does it lead to? So, yeah. yeah. To your point, you tend to want to go to a reviewer you kind of know just because you share possibly the same idea. Right. On how you look at a thing. And and that yeah. was kind of the, the point of the tweet that I laid out was, you know, hey, find your reviewer that you, you have a mm-hmm. lot in common with and then kind of follow them. And what was interesting is there was another person, and I didn't take offense to it um, or anything like that. We actually kind of had a nice back and forth. 
unlike you know most <laughs> online like most Twitter back and forth yeah <laughs> but this guy he was like or you know just watch it on your own and form your own opinion he said but I get what you're saying yeah and I was like yeah I was like absolutely I said that's probably the better answer you know form your own opinion don't worry about what other people say just right. you know watch it and if you enjoy it great if you don't exactly great. let people enjoy things yeah yeah you like it great I didn't so what <laughs> but we had a, we had a nice you know back and forth about it and it was it was beautiful um I would look up his name but it's like he'll listen if he does hey tweet about hey, it hey <laughs> hi welcome <laughs> here's the person you were talking to yeah but yeah it's i know people probably love screen it, it was a bad experience for me simply because i didn't appreciate how i was pushed aside you know mm. and it, in fact a, a lot of that actually like i said it kind of reinvigorated me i spent all day applying for different things that I saw. Well, see, there you go. Because I didn't want... Maybe it just wasn't a fate. You know, sometimes it's just that way. Yeah, like it I said. It would have been nice to hear, of course. Like, oh, yeah. I feel like the cold shoulder is just that... I don't even know how to... There are no words for that. No, but... there isn't. But what I will say, um, and I haven't told you this, but I'm going to say it publicly now, and hopefully he's okay with me sharing this, but as I got in there... Um, friend of the show that we've not had on this pod, but I've been on his pod called a conversation or conversation. Yeah, is what it's called. Brandon T. McClure. He showed up in their Discord, and when I saw his name, I was like, "Holy crap, that's the dude! I know him." Hey, yeah, and I, was, I reached out to him and messaged him. I was like, "Dude, I see you're you're writing for Screen Rant too, Small World, you know." And we had yeah. kind of a nice little, "Oh yeah, I, I got this," and I didn't even know know that you were writing for him. I was like, "Oh, it's." Only been about a week. Yeah. You know, trying oh, to get all fun. this training done. So good luck to him. If right, he can yeah. if he can make it, you know, I'm I'm I hope that he can. Like you said, maybe it's not for me. Right. I just I I, do, I honestly feel like my distaste for lists had a lot to do with it. I don't want to think that, but I just I think I, you recognizing it though is good because I, I would think maybe a little. Yeah, because I don't... if you already had it in your head, you didn't like it, it was probably sitting back there effing with you more than you realized mm-hmm. and letting it come out that way. But that's that's why I wanted to try something like news, you know? Sure, yeah. Maybe, maybe if it's not even movie news, maybe gaming news. I mean, hell, that's what we do here. Right. But, I mean, if I'm not good enough for their movie news, then who's to say they would even give me a chance in gaming? Yeah. I, just, I don't know what they wanted. I really don't. Yeah. If they want me to write like a robot, then fucking hire a robot. <laughs> I'm not a robot. You know, I yeah. have my own voice, and that's the problem, I think, is mm-hmm. I can't just adhere to someone else's voice. I have my own. And I would and hope that's what they're looking for. I, that's kind of what I thought, too. But, but, I mean, if they're structuring everything, you have to do it like this, you have to write it like this, then what's the point? What is the absolute point of doing any of this if you're just going to make people write it the way you want it to be written in the same format that everyone else has to follow? So none of these articles, I couldn't tell you any of the articles that I read on a lot of these websites who writes them because they all have the same voice. At least I that's how that it I seems to me. I read enough of those to know. Right. So I. But I get your point. But there's but, I get your point. A, but there's the same structure to them all. So say if you uh, read a there's a headline that's like a oh, rumored actor to return to the MCU. You click on that because you're like, well, who could this be? Because you're right. curious, and that's how they get you. They sucker you oh, in yeah, with that bait. bullshit clickbait title. You click on it, and then they give you two paragraphs of some shit. That has absolutely uh-huh. fuck all to do with <laughs> what they <laughs> baited you in for. I feel like most news at those, fo- they're kind of the same in that regard. Yeah. I don't know how many times I just re- refuse to report on a thing because I click on it and the headline was really the only thing about, it was the only news. Yeah. You waterboarded me with all this other stuff that I already knew, catching me back up just to give me one line of new news. And I'm like, God, I'm not even going to report it now. I'm mad at you. <laughs> oh, that that's what... Do you remember Machinima? They they were the world's worst at that on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Like, they would have these, like, five-minute videos, and it'd be like... Um, 
breaking, you know, this mm-hmm. hidden so and so and this thing, and you're like, oh shit, and you click on Stay it. Stay tuned and, for and this guy's this. like. You know, oh man, you have no idea what we're going to do now. Oh yeah, but here, we're sponsored by this. And then they do like a minute and a half worth of sponsorship. Five minute video, mind you. And they come back, it's like, oh, you all guys know that this guy in this movie is so awesome. And blah, 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 blah. But did you know that this thing? And, and then he they, was born in 1972. <laughs> and then they stretch this shit out to the point where it's like, but here, the breaking news is, is that this character might be in this movie. But it's unconfirmed, so we don't really know if that's actually true. It's like, you son of a bitch. You right. just wasted my time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, Forget with, with that nothing. Ad money. With nothing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I could have read that headline anywhere else, and I clicked on your stupid fucking video. <laughs> So I'm, I'm glad that they're it's defunct like the way now. of all reporting it feels like and it's just so ridiculous <laughs> mm-hmm. so much. that's why we try to do it better i mean you know? I, yeah i do I cry. at least my opinion yeah yeah but no 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 <laughs> you do that thing kind of like philip defranco does where you give the news and then your opinion like you yeah, re- yeah. when we report about activision blizzard you know you give all the mm-hmm. facts and then we can mm-hmm. say, burn it down. Right. You know, yeah. that's our opinion. Yeah. If you don't agree, good for you. Then that's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's just how the world works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag uh, burn it down, get it trending, people. Oh and then gosh. make sure you tag Activision Blizzard in the tweet. Because right. we need to make this happen. I know we don't normally talk about gaming news in the pod, but this is after dark, people. This is after dark. You know, whatever we want to talk that's about. That's right. So we're going to talk about it. We're, we're going to just bring Many it up real quick. Many of you are still here. Thanks. <laughs> I, no. Like, I have no idea what they're talking about. This under, click. <laughs> understand my plight for crying out loud. You know? At least no, I'm positive it. now. I, true. You know? Because you heard me yesterday. I was going on a rant. And that's understandable, man. That's why I wasn't going to say anything. I was like, I know exactly what headspace you're in right now. Mm-hmm. Do what you need to do to feel better, because nothing I'm going to say right now is helpful, because I know. <laughs> I'll just be mad at you for trying to make me feel better about it right now. <laughs> I'm upset, and let me be that way. Cool. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, at least that's me. I, no, no, no. I get it, because even like um, earlier today, where I was kind of still in that same headspace, I tweeted something about um, where I've... I've probably mentioned it here and it's suddenly become my motto because that's the way it seems i'm good but not that good you know seems to be the the way of things and i tweeted that i was like you know everybody has a motto that's it's you know defines them mine is apparently good but not that good and so i just need to i'll have it on my headstone or some shit and mine's my headstone's gonna read well that didn't work And and we all have that, you know. I mean, I feel like that's my perfect biography title. Yeah. But and you're right. There, there. It's that one thing that seems to define you. Now, granted, that might mm-hmm. not be everyone's opinion of you, but that's how you see it based yeah. on the way your life has gone. And I'm, <laughs> uh, yeah, the dominoes that have lined up so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's my conclusion. So I would assume that all of our uh, thirty listeners out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure being, they have to feel the same way. It's something sure. that they're passionate about in their life that didn't work out exactly. In hopeful. fact, in fact, I want to. I want all of our listeners right now. If you've gotten this far, hopefully you have. Um, tweet to Super Mega Crash. What is your defining motto? What What is that 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 one phrase that defines you in a nutshell? Good, but not that good. Uh, that well, didn't th- work. That didn't well, work. That didn't work. <laughs> that that's us. What are what are you? Help what us know yours? you a little bit more. I want to know about yeah. our siblings out there. You know, fun. there's a little homework for you. We don't normally give you. It's true. <laughs> but, just Ava. <laughs> yeah, just Dava. Which, <laughs> by the way, homework. What a beautiful soul he is. He comes through every time. Ask Dava is now an you. official thing. It has to be. I know. Like I need to like ask him if he's on a different Google. I'm mm-hmm. like, how do you? <laughs> Dude knows his shit. Yeah, he does. So I and tell you he what, does it? He'll find out. By damn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not gonna. He's not gonna let anything like um, a lack of information stop him from getting the facts. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> He's going to dig them up, come hell or high water. <laughs> so what you siblings need to do, if you got a question, you know, yeah. if you were sitting there around the house going, you know, why does my ass itch all the time? At Super Mega Crash, <laughs> hashtag Ask Dava, and then I'm you sure know, you'll just get to wash your ass. Yeah, maybe. I mean, <laughs> but we don't know who they are, you know. There so it could be something else. You're right. It could be something else, but Ask Dava. Dava will let you know, and then we'll read I it out. We're the offering show. him this up, and he's just like, um, "Hey, could I? Could I maybe be consulted?" He said it on Twitter. He committed to it. <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> and in the Discord. So, yeah, you might have been too kind. <laughs> Perhaps, maybe, maybe if we can, if we start getting questions in, we could mm-hmm. see if we could, you know, get him to record little things on his phone. You know, we don't want to make him go out of his way or anything, but yeah, he could just record yeah. the answers on his phone and then he could submit it to us and then we could play it on the show. Now, look at that, cut people. It in. Siblings, cut you it have, in. you have to contribute. And it could be the silliest damn question ever. Or it could be the most serious question ever. I don't care. Make We could turn this into a Dear Abby section. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is the one that's got to answer this stuff. I can't wait to hear back on this <laughs> one. <laughs> so you guys submit a question on Twitter. Or you can email it if you don't want the whole world to see. You know, or our you could go into email. our Discord, by the way. Or you can Super go to our Mega Discord. Crash does have a Discord that we're horrible at telling people about. But you should go there. The <laughs> links are in the description down below. There you go. And if, if by chance the, the link doesn't work, because I noticed the very first link that I shared was one of those seven-day links, uh, I think I've corrected that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do keep in mind, everyone, we do not know what we're doing with Discord. Just keep that in mind. Things might look weird, or all of a sudden, if you don't have access to a thing one day, just tell one of us. It was probably an accident when we thought we were fixing something else. Yeah. We're trying. <laughs> we're not you know hip and cool like i think i'm allowing myself to be way too old for my age though mm-hmm. i need to like step it up here no 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 here here's a great example of that today when i was doing the the job search and it was just filling out whatever there mm-hmm. was this one job that i looked at and it it on the surface sounded great like i was like oh yeah i could do that and then i started looking at the details of what the job implied and they were like uh, try to come up with great and crazy things to post on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And I was like, nope, can't do it. I can't even do that for my own shit. What makes nope. you think I'm going to come you up with stuff for you? You want me to write you headlines now just for you to tell me no thanks? No. Yeah. I was like, no, yeah. no, I can't do that. <laughs> so, I mean, we, we, we are poor at the social medias. We can't help it. We're just, I, well, we, we're not built for it. I need to be more active on it. I don't know. I guess I just... I guess I'm just slightly before the time where it doesn't occur to me to let you know what I'm doing all damn day long. And you know, or I any think, thought that just pops into my head. Right. You know? but, but that, but even that, you know, we sit there and, and I've tried that. I've, I've tried posting just random things that kind of come up and there's like maybe one person snorry bear today. was like the that only can one, relate. you know, or I Dava can relate to one human every couple of weeks. So, so you get like one or two people who actually like your stuff and then it's just like, well, okay. So who am I reaching really, you know? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know that I understand it anyway. I don't either. There was only one time I did a tweet that got any kind of attention mm-hmm. and uh, I never want to do it again. Oh yeah, that's right. You got <laughs> I don't want to do it again. People like you had just the fair share of people, of course, who were like, I get the joke. That was funny, whatever. And then I had another fair share of people that was telling me I should delete it and kill myself, like just drastic stuff over a joke tweet. And that's when I went, wow. And that only got like 200 likes. I'm like, I don't know that I want to get a tweet with more traction than that. (laughs) Honestly, it turned me off from it altogether. (laughs) Rob Reiner. Got like I saw Meathead trending and I was like, oh shit. And I knew exactly, I knew exactly what it was because obviously, like I've said prior, I've been watching All in the Family here Mm -hmm. recently. And so I knew exactly Meathead. What did Rob Reiner do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I clicked on it. He tweeted something about um, Kyle Rittenhouse. And then, of course, the Mm. conservatives started just lobbing Meathead jokes at him. (laughs) Stupid Meathead. (laughs) And I was like, really? This is the best you got? This is all you can do. Yeah. Isn't that the joke? They can't meme. Yeah. Apparently not. So it was pathetic. 
in all honesty, but hey. I missed this one, but I'm not sad about it. No, don't don't be. Yeah. Don't be. You're fine. <laughs> so yeah, that has scared me from really wanting to pick up any kind of speed on social media. It's fine. It's fine. Scared I, is a tough word. I just, I, when I looked at it, I'm like, I don't know that I will ever care to deal with this on any level. I mean, do you, like, who does want to, you know? Well, I'm clearly plenty, but yep. like, because I know some people that I've had to mute, love you to pieces, but 12 times a day, it's a little much, guys. A little much. A yeah. little much. Um, but I mean, you do you. It's your Twitter. It's your mm-hmm. social media space. You know, maybe lots of people do enjoy that. But like, yeah, once or twice a day is good. But if it's like I'm constantly just flipping through, you bought Doritos or I got to see this movie or, you know, it's just like, okay, we're done here. I want Doritos. Wow. I mean, I, I, well, I remember when social media was just starting to really be a thing and I'd see like celebrities talking about buying salads Mm -hmm. and stuff. And I'm like, so this is, this is what we're going to use it for. Now, see, I have done something (laughs) similar on Facebook, but. It was within a group of people whom I knew within the area. Like, I think last year I was trying to make a a cranberry pie of some sort. And -hmm. I couldn't find actual cranberries because that's what the recipe called for. So I I just sent out like a a Facebook post. It was like, hey, if anybody sees cranberries within this area, let me know what store you found them in so I can go get them. So in that regard, I understood. Like, there was a purpose. Sure. On Twitter, who the fuck do I know? <laughs> Within the- I don't know. <laughs> like, when I find someone on Twitter who's in Tennessee, I'm like, oh, dude. You know, it's like. Right? Well, Twitter <laughs> the and rarity. Facebook, I guess, are a little different. Well, not, I guess. They are different in that regard. Where I guess on Facebook, oh, they're my friends. Yeah. You got you to gotta say it's okay. Well, I guess depending on your settings. Hmm. You know, if you want them to be your friend, you can give permission to uh twitter just anyone can follow i guess unless you put your account on private <laughs> yeah so, i mean yeah because... i know you can follow some facebook pages but don't you have to like set it up like as a celebrity or a public figure or something and then it's pretty much a regular web page, yeah kind of that, that's kind of how i view it it's like facebook is is for uh family and and close friends that i grew up with whereas mm-hmm. twitter is kind of those um you know, everyone else, <laughs> internet friends, people I've met through the internet. And that's not to oh, say that okay, I, I yeah. consider them less than, I mean, hell I've, I've had, I mean, internet friends like you, you know, mm-hmm. that's a great example. Someone I met through the internet is actually closer to me than some of my family members. You know, I would do no more doubt. for you than I would do for them. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Don't make me make that comparison. So, I mean, it, it okay. doesn't mean that you're less than because you're on Twitter. It right. just means that that's where I probably met you, and that's where we have that sure. connection. That was the medium, so we'll yeah. leave it. Yeah, totally. But I, but and that's probably it. the only social media I sort of F with, which is bad. No, that's probably good, because you know what? Sometimes when I think about that, like letting go of all social media, there's like this calm that washes over me, and it oh, sounds dude, really good. never felt better when I deleted Facebook. And what's funny is I keep getting emails now of somebody trying to um, log into the account. So it's making me wonder, did I legit delete it like it said it was? Or I mean, am I getting fished? Or is someone trying to, you know, open it back up and then Facebook's like, hey, if you sign hey. back in, you know, like, are you? So I'm like, been too terrified to click on anything in it or to it. even check if my Facebook page is legit delete. Cause I'm like, is somebody trying to bait me back into it? Cause I don't want you. If, if I want to quit. If there was anybody that would have, uh, you know, see it coming, it would be me. Because, I mean, when you disappeared, you disappeared for good. I was done. Yeah. (laughs) So if I happen to get a a friend request from Lacey Finley, I'll be like, nope, nope. Yeah, you'll know that's not me. Bullshit. So I'll report that immediately. It's gone, right? I don't even know if you've checked. Why would you? I I I I don't see you on there anymore. Okay. Like, I've... When you said you deleted it, I could not find you, see you, anything. It was like Okay, gone. good. So then I think it is just somebody maybe trying to poke the bear to get me back on. Maybe. I don't Perhaps. know. Perhaps. Whatever. Well, if you want it, I guess take it. Yeah. <laughs> do whatever. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm not smart enough to take it back. I don't know. <laughs> I go on there and post a bunch of uh, pro-Trump <laughs> <Right. laughs> post. All your family no. will go, God damn, look at her. Now she's, her. she's trying to come yeah. around. That's a huge 180. <laughs> Oh, the complete opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Please let me know, I guess, if that's the case. But I never put, like, my phone number or anything on there. So I'm, like, in my head, I'm, like, what are you stealing? Yeah. 
Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, siblings, well, there's yeah. there's your mini pod. Yay. We complained and fussed, and hopefully you just enjoyed listening to our us rant uh, about hopefully. things. Just enjoyed the top foolery of the the situations. <laughs> I will I will state, even though I'm a little sour with um, screener internet right now, I, I'm not going to hold that against Ryan George and his videos because he's a he's a treasure, and I love his stuff. So I that's that's no uh, slight to him. He, he's got his own channel. He can do his own things. And if he could ever just kind of break away and do that by himself, go for it, dude. You well, don't need them. he does them. have his own channel, to be fair. He does, but he, he does, does he does uh, those uh, trailer, not trailers, the, the movie well, pitches. Well, no, he, the pitch meetings. Pitch, pitch meetings. Pitch yeah. meetings, he does, so yeah, but he go, does have his own. Go do that over on your own channel. You don't need that shit on screen rent. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. They could be lovely. You don't know. I don't know. I mean, the people I talk some, to. Some lovely people's. I'm not trying to knock anyone. I'm just, I'm bitter. That's fair. And you're allowed to be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're allowed to be right now. But <laughs> to all of our siblings, hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Yeah. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, we hope you enjoyed. Happy Thursday. Whatever you did. <laughs> yeah. um, we will be back next week with the regular show yes um but until then came on this has been a pencil and paper podcast network production